Bienvenidos, Kushamadid, and welcome Michigan State learners from the Capstone Portfolio course for the spring 2021 semester. My name is Travis Bonfili, and I'm actually a learner in the Capstone Portfolio course right now and completing my master's degree at Michigan State. This is my 10th and final course, and I wanted to produce a number of Weebly website builder tutorials for so that learners who follow me and might be visiting my site and taking a look at my Capstone portfolio can get some tips and tricks on what they can do when working with menus. And so our focus in this video, ironically, is going to be adding a menu option for this exact video that I'm recording right now. So let's go ahead and jump in to the Weebly Website Builder back end. And as you can see over here on the left-hand side, I've created quite a few menu options. Now, there are some differences, which you'll notice right here, and it's very um, sort of subdued. You have these little icons that show up on the far right. So annotated transcript, it shows it's a page, and that's a standard page. You can see I highlighted right over it there. If I move here, you can see this is a non-clickable menu item. If I come down to the arrow, this is an external link. So in other words, if I wanted to have an external link open up to take you to my YouTube channel where this video is going to reside, I'm going to show you exactly how you would do that. Here's the home menu choice, and you can see it's listed as both the home page as well as a standard page. And if it's a standard page, I can actually click on that page like contact. If I click on that, you can see it takes me to my contact page. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Weebly tutorials. You can see here that these are all external links taking you to the YouTube videos that I've been creating that show how to work with menus. And so the top Weebly tutorial is a non-clickable menu item. In other words, I don't want anyone to click on the Weebly tutorial and be taken to a page or where it says Weebly tutorials. I simply want this to provide a drop down of menu choices that I will then slide in indent here under the main Weebly tutorial drop down. So let's go ahead and let's add a new page. It's not going to be a standard page. I'm not looking for a blog or a category or a product we're going to be linking out to an external page. And you can see here, this would be the non-clickable menu um, item that we've added for social media or graduate coursework. So let's go ahead and pick external page. And here, I'm simply gonna uh, title this working with menus. Now, we don't have the external link yet, and that's okay, because I haven't, of course, produced this video and uploaded it to YouTube, but I want it to open up in a new tab, and I'm okay if search engines are looking at this page. So, working with menus, I'm simply gonna click Done. Now, you'll notice that when I click Done, it puts what I've created, this working with menus external link, down here at the very, very bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And it's in the very bottom of all of these different menu items I've created. You'll also notice that it then sort of lists out this more over here to the right-hand side with the dot, dot, dot working with menus. Because this, um, and the word I'm looking for right now is escape, this template that I'm working with, I it keeps all my menu items over here on the left hand side and you can or the right hand side and you can see I've run out of space over here. So it just says more dot 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 and now it lists out this new external link. But we don't want it to be over here. And if I did have space uh, and we didn't see the more, it would put working with menus up here on the top line. And we don't want that either. I want it under my Weebly tutorials. So I'm going to come over here and grab this and I'm going to drag it up to where, and I've been listing my things alphabetically, to where it would reside. Now you'll notice I have it here underneath the Weebly tutorials and I've dragged it in. If I leave it out, right, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put it out here because then it's its own menu item, 
right? If I was to move it here, you can see what happened. It says, okay, so now working with menus is its own thing. And then Weebly Tutorials is its own thing because they're at the same menu item level in terms of hierarchy. So let's drag working with menus down here to where we would want that to reside. And again, I don't have to have the URL there right now because I'll be adding that shortly. Once I get the URL from YouTube after uploading this video, I would come back in and click on this and then paste in the external link that YouTube generated. So let's go ahead and click back. Let's click publish. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually publishing the changes that I've just made. If I come out to the site as it would be viewed on the front end where the user or the viewer will be coming to your site as opposed to the back end where we're constructing the site. And I refresh the page because I've been making changes here throughout the day. And I hover over Weebly Tutorials, add your Twitter feed, add a file download button, working with menus. And you can see it gives me the little hand so that if I click on it, as opposed to up here, you can see it just gives me sort of this bar that as I move it to these non-clickable uh, or non-sort of selectable links, unlike contact where we get the hand, if I click on this, it's not going to work because again, we haven't added in the URL. However, we're going to be doing that on the back end once we get this published and then everything's gonna work great. So that is how you would work with your menus on the back end. And you can see here, it's just simply a strict hierarchy. Make sure that if you wanted to have a drop down, that you simply drag whatever that drop down will be an external page, an internal page, and bring it underneath the main heading. And remember, if you don't want the main heading to be clickable, make sure you create a non clickable menu item. All right, well, that is going to do it for this Capstone Portfolio course tutorial on working with Weebly website menus. If you have any questions, here's my contact information and how you can reach out, and I'll be more than glad to give you an assist. All right, thanks for watching. Best of luck to you in your Capstone Portfolio course, and have a great semester.